Hi, I'm David Domzowski, founder of the Financial Bin, host of Financial Bin Radio. This is our very first episode of Real Estate Intervention on Financial Bin Television. And I'm joined here by my wife, Financial Bin co founder. What else? What else are you? Financial Bin staff writer and newly minted Keller Williams real estate agent. And yes, our puppy, Pugs, we're very creative with that name. But we're gonna do, we're gonna do a couple, you know, a series of these interviews where we sit down with Anna and we get a kind of a feel of the real estate market. So with that, we're gonna start right now. Anna, the first question I have for you, what should buyers look out for when they're starting to buy when they're starting to look to buy a home? Well, the first thing that buyers should look out for is not knowing the market value around them. Right. A lot of times buyers go in and they look for the kitchen, they look for all the amenities, they look for the things that they like, but they don't look at comps. They don't look at um, what the future may hold in their life. For a lot of buyers, they might live in this house for five years. And then there are some that will be there for 30. And if they didn't plan, if they bought a two bedroom house and all of a sudden they end up with children, they're gonna run into a problem. If they, um, you know, overpaid, they got into a bidding war and they spent more money Mm -hmm. um, thinking, oh, the house is worth it, we just love it. Well, in five years when they're ready to move, you know, they want their money out. They don't care that it had the perfect kitchen anymore. Now, expanding on that, and you know, people like this estimate from Zillow and they they look at things from Trulia that they get, you know, they don't have, they're not privy to the MLS or anything like that. So... What do you say for the buyers out there who are looking at Trulia, looking at Zillow? Is it useful for them, and how does it equate to uh, when they're looking for an agent? Okay, well, I think Zillow, Trulia, Realtor, oh, all fabulous sites. I love them. And before I became a real estate agent, I used them exclusively to make all of my decisions. Right. Um, they give you something that you don't have if you don't have a real estate agent. The one thing that they lack is market reports. Mm-hmm. Um, Zillow isn't always exact with their estimates. That's, you, I think it's a fair statement. Yeah. You can get, and one of the most valuable things from Zillow is getting their um, recently sold list. Mm-hmm. So when you go on to Zillow, look at homes in the street, um, in the neighborhood that you're buying on, and see what they've sold for. Don't necessarily look at what Zillow's saying it's worth. Zillow may be wor- may deciding what it's worth based on a 2006 number since that's the last time a house is sold in that neighborhood. Now, now is that the importance of a buyer's agent? Why, why should I, if I'm out there and I'm seeing all this, why shouldn't I just go and do it myself? Why do I need someone to hold my hand? Fantastic question. A lot of people are very confused now about the term buyer's agent. Yeah. Um, Back when our parents went and bought a house, the only person that had an agent was the seller. And if you were interested in seeing the house, you called up an agent, whoever was listing it, or a guy in the street, and you went with him. And you didn't sign a contract, you didn't declare that you belonged to him and you were going to be faithful to him. Nowadays, you go call an agent, you get in the back seat of his car and he's taking his C2 houses, he whips out three page contract and starts telling, you gotta right. sign this, you need right. this. And most buyers are sitting there going, what do we do? What is this? We don't understand. Well, so, wait. <laughs> Always Husbands. respect the wife. So, a buyer's agent is a new term. The importance of having a buyer's agent, which my husband wouldn't let me finish, is that a buyer's agent will promise to advocate for you, will be working for you 24-7. They are looking for homes in your price range, looking for homes that fit your criteria, and they know the market in that area. When most people shop, they don't look in one small neighborhood. They Half the time, they don't even look in one town. They might be looking three, four, five towns, 10, 15 different neighborhoods. It is it critical that you have somebody on your team that's helping you understand what all those homes are worth. Think about it like if you went and got a lawyer. Mm-hmm. You don't want a lawyer that's really good at patents if you're getting a divorce. 
you want a good divorce lawyer. Unless the patents are And you important. definitely don't want a lawyer that knows New York State divorce law when you're sitting in Florida. So having a buyer's agent is critical. It is somebody that knows your neighborhood, knows your area, and knows you. And they can help you. Can I ask the next question? Maybe. <laughs> Wives. So when we were buying our house, you were pretty much the one who took the bull by the horns while I was working and you know growing financial bin and things like that. So yes. what did you look for starting out? Well, maybe, maybe two or three tips. Okay, starting out for me, I was like every other buyer. I looked at a kitchen. I looked at a bathroom. I looked at the curb appeal, how it looked when you drove by it. If the house didn't sparkle when I drove by it, I didn't even get out of the car. If I didn't like the landscaping... It's true, she didn't. We weren't, we weren't allowed to get out of the car. It wasn't worth it to me. If I walked in the house and it didn't have a good feel, it wasn't worth it. But one of the things that I did that I think saved us a lot of time and helped us get a fabulous deal on our house was every time I went to see a house, I had my real estate agent give me a CMA, a comparative market analysis on every house that we were going to see. If the house I wanted to go to see was overpriced or underpriced, I wanted to know it when I walked in the door. I wanted to understand its value right. before I saw the curb appeal, before I saw the kitchen. I did my own research. I used city data on everything for every town every neighborhood, I read about it all. Right. And then I got on Zillow and I looked at what Zillow was saying and I looked at recent sales on Zillow. It is important, whether you have a buyer's agent or not, mm -hmm. that you are doing the work to find your home. Because at the end of the day, the only person living in that home is you and your spouse. You don't have your agent moving in. It doesn't matter if they like the house or not. Our agent doesn't live here. It's our home, and it has to fit my criteria and feel right to me. All right, Anna. Well, last question I have for you. Some great tips, by the way. Last question I have. Where, pe where can people contact you and learn more about some other tips you may offer? Okay, well, if you want to contact me about anything, questions, even if you're not in my area, you can write to me at Anna Dumzowski at Keller... or kwrealty.com Anna Dimzowski at kwrealty.com or you can look at my website which is at realestateinbucks.com okay. I, I did it again That's straight to <laughs> to hearing from you please don't speak to my husband he cuts you off <laughs> you can also reach Anna at Anna at financialbin.com with any of your personal finance questions as well I want to thank you for joining us on Real Estate Intervention, Episode 1. This is Financial Bin TV, our, our debut. So please join us again. I'm Dave Domzaski. This is Anna Domzaski, my wife. And this is our puppy, Pugs, the one we saved. Thank you for joining us. Take care. Have a good day.